Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica and thank you so much for clicking on this video today. We're gonna to do an update on my rolling project pan today. I have been making great progress this past month and I'm so excited to share with you how well we've done. Get to roll out some items, roll some new items in. I hope you're as excited as I am. Probably not, but that's okay. Let's get on into the project pan update. I always like to go in order of when I apply the products onto my face. So I'm gonna start with my foundation today. I've been working on my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. And this foundation is quite nice. I've really been enjoying using it. I've had it in my collection for a while. It's definitely my oldest, so that's why it's in this project right now. I just rolled this one in last month. It was weighing 35.39 grams, and it already had a good amount used. In the past month of using this, this product is now weighing 29.83 grams. So I've used a ton of this product, 5.56 grams, which is more than I've ever used of any foundation in a month. And I think that's because it's kind of a medium coverage. I do have to layer this sometimes. I try and just do a light layer for day to day, but if I'm doing like a full look, I have to layer this. That's how I'm wearing it today. I have also finished another product that I was using for a lot of my complexion. And um, spoiler alert, this one has been taking that one's place. So I'm super excited to get some good use on this. This is how it's looking. I think in the next two, maybe three months, we should be able to get this one out. Out. It might last longer than we expect, but I'm gonna enjoy the journey along the way. It's a great foundation for these warmer months and the summer's right around the corner. It even has some SPF in there, SPF 15. I don't know how much that's actually doing, but it's there. So it's a great one to pan in the summertime. The next product is this concealer from NARS. This is the Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Custard. I've been using this concealer for quite a few months now and it's been slow and steady progress along the way. Last month it was weighing 26.87 grams and this month it is at 25.7 grams. So I've used 1.17 grams and I was really using this product as my main coverage on a daily basis, setting that with a powder foundation. And with all of my consistent use, I was rewarded with an empty concealer. So there she is today. It's a beautiful thing seeing an empty concealer pot and I've quite enjoyed using this. In the past few months, it was neglected for far too long. And in the time it was in this project, I really grew to love it and enjoy it. Probably won't be repurchasing it, at least not now. It's a little pricey for what I prefer, but that's okay. I'm happy I used it and it's getting out of my collection. Goodbye, NARS. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. That's the next item is my e.l.f. Cream Contour Palette. This product broke on me on camera last month, so it's now separated from its lid, which is kind of a bummer. It's definitely taken some of the joy away from using this product, but we have been faithful and steady and continuing on and trying to use this one up. I really do want to empty this one. I just think it would be so satisfying. I've also been making great progress on this in the past months that it's been in this project. Most recently, it was weighing 86.46 grams and I had pan on three of the products and this month it's weighing 84.79 grams so according to that math I've used 1.67 grams however that number is a little skewed because the little metal pieces that hold the top to the bottom fell out when it broke and have since been deducted from the weight so whatever those weighed are affecting the difference in the weight this month so there you go. If you're interested in the exact science of it all, you got all the information. I don't know how much they weighed though. So that's some missing data. <laughs> this is how my palette is looking today. I was really hoping to use up the rest of this product before this update, but you can see we are very, very close to finishing it up. Have quite a nice pan going in this highlight shade. I've expanded it quite a bit. And look, look at that beauty. New pan in the deepest, darkest shade, which I mix with this one to contour. And I think I will be able to mix these two pretty easily to contour once this one's gone. And I'm super excited that we are well on our way to finishing up this product. Hopefully over the summer, I'll be able to use this deeper shade quite religiously. And ah, it'll just be so satisfying to see this cream product empty and I'm excited to work on more cream products in this project pan. So that one's gonna stay in, we're gonna continue to track that progress on those very satisfying cream pans. Next item is my Benefit Hula Bronzer, which is in my Charlotte Tilbury packaging as of last month. And I have some beautiful progress on this. 
since it went into this new packaging, I have hit pan again. Last month it was weighing 52.07 grams. And this month we are at 51.09 grams. So I've used 0.98 grams, almost a gram. And we are so close, so close to using up the rest of this product. Here is what they're looking like. Just a little bit of product throughout that pan. And I know that I will quickly be using up the remainder of this product and it will be gone. It'll definitely be gone by the next update and I can't wait to share with you an empty pan. It's gonna be so exciting. Stay tuned and subscribe if you are not already because you don't wanna miss this. I know you don't. And it's been great having this in this new packaging or not new packaging, old packaging, but I love looking at this compact and that other Hula packaging is just, you know, you all know, it's annoying. So it's been much easier to use inside of here. I think I only have like 0.6, 0.7 grams remaining of this product if my math is correct so that is very good indeed and if I'm using this at the same rate which I know I will be it's gonna be gone it's gonna be gone just last month I rolled in this mineral veil powder from bare minerals and it was kind of a gimme product it didn't have a lot in there and it was also a very old product I came to learn from all of you helpful people in the comments so this product was a hand-me-down from another friend. It came into my collection only recently and I thought it would be something easy just to roll in and roll out and reduce from my inventory. So it was weighing 24.11 grams when we rolled it in. This month it is at 23.25 grams and it is in fact empty. There is no more powder to be had inside of there and I really enjoyed using it. This finishing powder type product is one that I really enjoy as part of my routine. I find it's a great way to blur my pores, brighten my under eye, and blur any lines on my forehead. <laughs> We're getting there, yes. We'll be 36 this year. So yeah, it's been great that um, I've gotten just a chance to use up the rest of this product. It kind of took the place of my diffused light powder from Hourglass that recently rolled out of this project. And since finishing this, I have reached for my diffused light quite a few times to fill in that hole when I feel like it. So we get to roll this one out and that is now two empties, yay. The next item is my Becca Afterglow palette and I've been loving painting this. It's gonna be with us for a while, but it's been so fun to reach for every day. It's a beautiful palette with beautiful products and I've really been enjoying working on it and it's gonna be so satisfying to see how we do on this throughout the year. This is what it's been looking like over the past couple months. And just last month, we did hit pan on that blush, which was very exciting. It was weighing 73.26 grams last month, and this month it is 72.73 grams. We've used 0.53 grams, a little bit less than the first month, which I'm not sure how that happened. Oh, yes, I do know how that happened. I have been kind of neglecting the highlights in here, but I've been using the blushes pretty much every day. And this is what they are looking like today. Very nice progress. You can see that that blush pan has expanded quite dramatically. It was very thin at the point that we hit pan, so that blush is probably gonna go pretty quickly, which is so fun to see. I've also been trying to use this second blush. I basically mix it with this one almost every day, and that works pretty nicely. I've also been using this middle shade to top my bronzer when appropriate, as well as an eyeshadow here and there. And my two highlights definitely have a little bit of progress, but not as much as maybe they would have because I've really been focusing on another product as a highlight to try and make progress on another item I'm working on in another video. I'll link it in the cards above if you'd like to check it out. I'm not gonna talk about it right now. So yeah, this progress is great and I know that next month we'll have even more great progress to share and I just really love this item and I love using it every day and it's so fun to track the progress on it and to share with all of you. Next we have my Chella Brow Pomade and this is the Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream from Chella. I've kind of fallen off from using this product. It is not really performing as well anymore and I've also been trying to use some eyeshadows that I'm working on in my brows, which is what I've done today. I'm not using this item in my brows today. It's getting a little bit chunky. I could try like zhuzhing it up with some of the Duraline that I have. I'll give that a try, I guess. 
But for now, it's just kind of on the back burner. I grab for it sometimes just to make sure I'm using it. You're not gonna be able to see any difference on here because it has that deep pot that is just, you know, a abyss of blackness. You can't see anything. It definitely has gotten lower, I've noticed, but who knows how much product is in here. It is a mystery. I think it goes down about that deep, so about that much. I don't I don't know. I don't know how much plastic there is at the bottom, so. Going off of weight, this was weighing 9.43 grams last month. This month it's 9.73 grams, so I've used 0.06 grams, which is basically nothing. It's less than half of what I've used in previous months, and that's not surprising since I have been reaching for eyeshadows to fill in my brows. I use a brow mascara and then I fill in using the eyeshadow and we got a bold eyes today but <laughs> it's been working really well. I've been enjoying it and this one not enjoying so much so we'll see. I'm gonna keep this in for another month, reach for it a few more times, try and liven it up, see if it's worth continuing to work on and if I'm not feeling it I'm just gonna roll it out. I'm not gonna endure this product as long as I did that Benefit Cabral. I've learned my lesson and I'd rather work on something else and just you know I got a good amount of use on this. I don't have to finish it up. I, I doubt that I ever will. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how I'm feeling next month. The next item I was working on was a lip liner. This is by Rimmel. This is the Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in the shade East End Snob. It's a beautiful cool toned pink. I don't know if I'll be able to swatch it for you because, spoiler alert, it is empty. I can't roll it up anymore. It's, it's quite flat. So let's see if I can swatch it. Scrape it really hard. There we go. We got a little bit out. There we go. Really pretty cool tone pink. I enjoyed wearing this. It was a great winter shade. Very easy to wear. Quite long lasting, even though it's also quite a creamy formula. So enjoyed using it. we will probably purchase another one of these if... I needed a lip liner, which I don't. I'm working on rolling out lip liners right now. I think I used this up in just two months and I knew it would go quickly because it is such a creamy formula. Last month, this was 4.17 grams. And this month, as it's empty, it's 4.11 grams. So I used up the remaining 0 0.06 grams. Such a small amount, there wasn't a lot left. I think I used it a couple of times and it was gone. So we are empty. That's one less lip liner in my inventory. Very happy to decrease that number further and we're saying goodbye to East End Snob, which I'm glad about because I really don't like that name. It like gives me the ickies, I don't like it. It's also working on a lipstick. This is the Bite Beauty Matte Cream Lip Crayon in the shade Glacé and this was a Sephora gift for a birthday a few years ago and I'm trying to go through my Bite lipsticks because they do go bad pretty quickly. I've already had one Bite lipstick go bad on me and it was one that I paid good money for and I'm really sad about that. So now I'm like on a mission to use up all my Bite products. Don't know if I'll buy any more. I do love the formula, but they're expensive and I don't know, we'll see. I would really like to make my own Bite lipstick. They have a lab that you can visit in San Francisco and create your own lip shade that's like the perfect shade for you or your own custom lip shade. So I would like to do that. Now that I need lipstick, I don't need any lipstick. So maybe another year, Jess, like you gotta, you gotta use up some more lipsticks before you do that. I just rolled this in last month and it's been very easy to use. I pretty much was wearing it on almost a daily basis or at least touching up my lipstick with this at some point throughout the day. When I brought it into the project, it was weighing 10.11 grams and now it is at 9.75 grams. I used 0.36 grams of product, which is not a lot, but it was enough to finish this item up. So there it is, it's pretty much gone. It does have like a teensy teensy bit still that you can like see above the plastic, but it's basically gone. I use the rest of all my hand here. This is what the swatching like. See quite another cool tone, like mauve shade and not necessarily my favorite shade to wear. I tend to like warmer tones, especially for a deeper color like this, but I'm glad that it's used up. I'm glad that it's gone. I will take out the remaining product that's in the bullet and put it into a pan to use as a cream blush with other lipsticks that I've done that with and see if I can get more use of the product that way. But otherwise I'm rolling this out for today and calling it an empty in my lipstick category, which means that this item will not expire in my drawers. The last item I'm working on is a lip gloss. I'm trying to always be working on a lip gloss just because I have more of them in my collection than I really need. This one has been in for a couple months now, I think two months, 
And last month it was weighing 17.3 grams. This is one that you're not gonna see any progress on. There's just no way, you can't see through the tube. Everything in this cylinder looks the same as it did last month. But we can tell by the weight, it was weighing 17.3 grams last month and this month it's at 16.94 grams. So we've used 0 0.36 grams. Not a ton, but I mean, almost half a gram. I think that is more than I've used of lip glosses in the previous months that I've worked on them. So I'm not gonna shake a fist at that one. I'm wearing it on my lips today. It is quite plumping. It is very uh, nude, so it can tone down a lipstick a little bit more than I would like sometimes. It's not quite as universal as I had hoped, but it goes great for just a daily nude lip. And that is how I'm using it, is almost daily. If my lipstick's getting like a little like dry or clumpy, I'll use this to like hydrate my lips and get a plumpy look. We're gonna continue to work on that. I have no idea how long this one's gonna take me. It's gonna be a bit of a mystery, but we will be in this mystery together and we'll find out exactly how long this takes and then how much product is in there. Stay tuned for that one. So that's four empties this month. That is so exciting. We're rolling out the NARS Concealer in Custard, the Mineral Veil from Bare Minerals, the Glacé Lipstick from Bite, and that Lip Liner from Rimmel. So that is so exciting. Four items out of my inventory, out of my collection, and into my empty bin. Which also means we get to roll in four new products. And honestly, friends, my inventory is getting so low in some categories to the point where I don't really have things to roll in. Like I finished a concealer, but I only have, I think two concealers in my collection right now. And I don't think I need to roll one in. Like I'm just gonna be working on them naturally. So that's kind of exciting. I was thinking about reducing my project pan number, just not rolling in a 10th item or, you know, just having eight items or nine even. Um, but I decided that until my inventory really gets down to a point where I am just using my makeup and enjoying it without feeling like things are going to go bad or that things aren't getting used, then I'm going to continue to try and keep it at 10. We'll see. I'm going to at least go forward with that this month. And in the next few months, as we continue to finish up items, I'll see what happens with that. It'll be something I think about as I'm going through my project. Let me know if you've done something similar or where your inventory is at. If you are getting to a much lower inventory, would you also consider lowering your rolling project pan numbers? Let me know. In the meantime, I did find four products that I could roll in. So let's go ahead and share with you what those are. Since we finished a lip liner, we of course have to roll in another lip liner. This is a lip liner from NYX in the shade Peekaboo Neutral. It's a great everyday shade. I have it on my lips today. It's very neutral, but it has a nice little pink, like a little something to your lips where it wasn't there before. So I do really love this. It's great for every day, great for a no makeup day. I actually rolled this in as soon as I finished the Rimmel lip liner since I finished it after just a couple uses. So I've been working on it for at least a couple weeks. I rolled it in on March 20th, which must have been about when I finished the Rimmel one and it is now April 2nd. So it's been about two weeks that I've been working on this lip liner and I've already made some progress on it. So here is where it was when I rolled it in and here is where it is. I, I made this mark on the 28th because I thought I was going to film that day, but we are actually on the second. So you can see it's used a little bit more since the 28th. So yeah, we made a little a bit of progress already in the time it's been in this project. This is something that I will easily be able to use almost every day and make some easy progress on it every month. And it'll be used up no problem. You know how I am with lip products. I go through them. I just love lip products. I love wearing them. I don't feel quite dressed without a lipstick on. And it's one of my favorite lip products to wear and one of my favorite features to accentuate. So I love lipstick and I love lip liner and I'm gonna be very happy to get this one used up. I'm just going through my neutral lip liners right now. I have a lot of them and it's just nice to see them going and that'll be fun to shop for a new one eventually once I get to a, a much lower number. So yeah, that'll be fun to track. It's weighing 2.36 grams and I think maybe in three, four months we'll have this one used up. Okay, you might think I'm crazy for this one. I also decided to roll in one of my last liquid highlighters. This is the Temp2 
liquid glow from BoxyCharm is where I got it. I do have a little bit of use on this. I use this on my legs and on my chest and you know, skin, arms in the summertime when I want to have a little bit of a glow. I actually put it on my chest today. Don't know if you can tell, just to, just to use it basically. This is where it's at. I've tried to mark it. That's where it's at today. So, you know, you saw the journey, probably most of you did, with my Tartiste liquid highlighter in the shade Exposed. It took forever to go through, pretty much a year. I'm hoping this one will not take quite as long. It has a much more liquidy, less pigmented formula where I can use more of it and cover a bigger area of skin. It's just a lot more liquidy and I think it'll go a little bit quicker. We are reaching summer. I'm going on some trips and gonna be out in the sun. So hopefully I'll be able to get some good use on it in the next couple months. It's weighing 34.47 grams today and just wish me luck. You know, I'm a brave soul, I feel like, for taking on this challenge, but I believe in myself. I'm really trying to believe in myself, and I hope you all believe in me too. Thank you for your support. I wanted to roll in an item that I have a few in my collection, and I just never use them, which are my pencil liners. This is a twist-up liner from Bare Minerals. It's called Lasting Line, and I've been neglecting this item forever. I basically mostly just use liquid eyeliner or a shadow, a dark shadow if I'm not going to use liquid eyeliner, but I've been making an attempt to use this and I really have been enjoying it for a day where I just don't feel like doing the liquid liner. It does save me some time. I can slap this on a lot more quickly and it just deepens up my lash line a little bit. I've been working on it for a couple days now and I've already made some progress but I'm having a little trouble with the roll up, roll down. So I'm not gonna roll it. Oh gosh, she's giving me trouble right now. I'm not gonna roll it all the way up. I'm just gonna show you where I marked it. It's just too precarious. I'll show you on the paper because I just don't wanna risk breaking it. I already kind of broke it and I was able to fix it, but it's now mad at me. <laughs> I've upset it. So I'm not gonna mess with it unless I absolutely have to measure it. I might just go by weight, we'll see. So yeah, this is where it was on the 28th when I measured it. It's got a good little, I don't know, probably an inch and a half of pencil there, maybe an inch and a quarter. So I, I measure it from the bottom here and I rolled it all the way up and then I couldn't roll it down and then it broke. So anyways, um, yeah, we I actually looked at it today. This is when I fiddled with it and it was just about there. So I've already used about, I don't know, a centimeter, half a centimeter of it in the past few uses. And that bodes well. It's quite creamy. It goes on very easily and it does last. It doesn't smudge. It lasts all day. And I'm satisfied with this item's performance so far. And I've kind of, it's interesting going back into a makeup product. I used to use this kind of pencil all the time, almost every day before I was using liquid liner. And I kind of forgot that I enjoyed a product like this. So it'll be fun to get some use on it and to use up an eyeliner will feel very satisfying and I'll be happy to get that out of my collection as well. The last item we are rolling in is of course another lipstick. I've got so many lipsticks to go through. We're gonna be working on lipsticks at all times, lip products in general. This is probably one of my oldest lipsticks in my collection, but I love this color. This is from Wet n Wild. It is the shade In the Flesh or 912C. And I love this color. This is like my perfect everyday shade, like a warmer pinky neutral. It's gorgeous. It goes with everything. I can easily wear this almost every day and I'm excited to get some good use on it. This is where it's at now. So definitely is not brand new. It's probably gotten at least a third of this product used in the time I've had it. And I'll be very excited to get this one out. I've been wanting to pan this for a while, but the packaging's broken. It's just not the prettiest to look at anymore, <laughs> but I'm gonna look past that and use up this shade that I love and get it out of my collection before it really does expire. It probably is very, very close to doing that, but it still smells fine, still has a nice creamy formula. I'm gonna really enjoy wearing it 
and sharing that progress with you. I'll be really interested to see how low I'm able to get my lipstick inventory by the end of the year. So that is my update today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for checking it out. If you're interested in seeing more of my project pans, I will link them down below in the description box and up above in the cards. I also love to do pan those eyeshadows. I'm doing the deck of painting this year and I'm also doing a pan that palette. And you might see other content from me as well if I ever have enough time to film it. We will see. <laughs> but in the meantime, thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. I'm trying to be better about responding to comments. I don't know why. I just, time gets away from me and then I leave you hanging. And I don't mean to. I really enjoy hearing from all of you and everything you have to say. And this has just been a really fun hobby for me. And I just want to say thank you to all of you for being a part of it. If you'd like to donate to the efforts in Ukraine, I also have that linked in my description box. So check that out and give it some support if you can. All my love to everybody out there. I hope you're doing well and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.